Now your certified storm ready forecast from NBC 25. Certainly had some slick roads today, especially in our southern counties. In Flint, we took a look, and now let's take a look at downtown Saginaw. The snow over with, but you can see the fresh snow on the side of the roads. It looks like the roadways themselves have been cleared, but still take it easy out there. Could be some slick spots on some secondary roads. Right now, temperatures the main story. Now that the snow is over with, most of us in the 20s, but we still have a 30 out there in Flint. Carroll 24, the cold spots, Bad Axe and Tawas at 21. Claris 22, 26 Mount Pleasant, Elma 24 and 26 in Owasso. We have cloudy skies, but notice some breaks occurring off to the northwest of us. This may move across, especially our northern counties overnight, giving us colder temperatures there. But I think the clouds will hold tight from the Tri-City southward. And by 830 tomorrow morning, the leading edge of yet another Alberta clipper reaches the area with some snow showers. Uh, basically from Saginaw southward, but this boundary will move a little bit to the north as we head into the afternoon and even as far to the north as Bay City. I think we could get a little bit of snow over the course of the day tomorrow, certainly around Flint. Uh, Fenton over towards Shiawassee County and Lapeer County will be looking at some light snow over the course of the day tomorrow. By 10 o'clock in the evening, finally we start to see that snow push off to the south and as we head into your Thursday morning, we're still cloudy, but uh, going ahead into Thursday afternoon, the sky breaks up a little bit. You can see we get in on a partly sunny day. Temperatures will still be at or below average for this time of year in terms of highs before that warm up gets here on Friday and into the weekend. Snowfall amounts for tomorrow. Our model going with right around an inch or so in Genesee, Lapeer and Shiawassee counties. Even Gratiot County could get close to an inch. But as we head further north, the snowfall cutoff is a pretty sharp one. You can see our model suggesting about a third of an inch or less as we head north of the Tri-Cities. I still think we could see around a half an inch in the Tri-Cities over into the Thumb. But as we head to the south towards Flint, another snowy day tomorrow with up to an inch of accumulation. Tonight's low around 20 degrees, some flurries by daybreak, light snow tomorrow, highs around 27 degrees, up to an inch in our southern counties. So it'll taper off as we head north pretty quickly. Your extended forecast tomorrow night down to 16, up to 28 on Thursday with uh, partly sunny skies, partly sunny and 38 degrees on Friday. There's our mild stretch. Saturday looking mild as well, getting above freezing. A few flurries. Flurries again on Sunday. Colder temperatures behind a cold front will be in the upper 20s. Flurries again on Monday, dry and cold with a high of 26 on Tuesday. Sadie.